G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for weekly free instant tournament number 97. Uh, there's an 8-board BBO tournament that you can play once a week. Um, you can actually repeat it, but I don't know why people would actually uh, bother doing that when you get the same cards. Maybe, like, I hope the people that are doing well don't do that at least. Anyway, uh, let's just jump straight in and see what we can do. Uh, flat 12 count, pass pass to me. I got both mages. Uh, so I'm going to open this and try and buy it in one or two major. Now, systemically, I should open a, a diamond, but I'm like curious about like opening a club. It might make it tougher for the opponents to compete to two minor. Um, it'll be bad if my partner raises um, one club to two clubs. I don't care about the lead between a club and a diamond. Um, so let, let's try this, see how it goes. And my partner bids a heart and uh, buy it there. Not interested in going on further. And one club might have stopped them competing to two clubs, getting us to two hearts, which probably is okay. Uh, so here, counting losers, we've got a couple of heart losers. They look both to be offside. We have uh, a spade loser, two diamond losers, and two club losers, but I can rough one of them. Um, I can try, if I can get them to open up diamonds for me, that reduces that loser. If I can get them to open up, uh, pretty much if they open up any suit, I'm pretty okay, like it'll help. Anyway, uh, my partner's got 10 opposite my 12, which is 22, 18 missing. Um, so that could be 9 and 9, or 12 and 6. That's sort of the spread that they've got. So we might be able to place the points really well. It looks like West has King, Queen of Hearts. And now they'll have to switch to something. Probably a club, yeah. Okay, so club to the ace, and now another heart, I presume. No, this is not very testing defense. So uh, they now switch diamond, diamond. So I'll be able to uh, pitch my spade on uh, the king of clubs. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to strip the, the suits. I'm going to catch the ace of hearts. Hearts are almost certainly 4-1. Otherwise, ace would not be defending this way, I wouldn't think. Uh, but let's win the queen of diamonds. Catch the ace of hearts. See them show, uh, ace show out. No! All right, so we're in business now. I can uh, strip clubs and diamonds, so diamond up. Um, I should be counting points. So East showed up with Ace, Jack of Diamonds, and the Ace of Clubs. Okay. So now when I exit a heart, West has uh, gets that heart, and they have to switch to a spade, and that runs around. Now, the East hand had Ace, Jack of Diamonds, Ace, Jack of Ace of clubs, eight jack of spades, so the queen of spades is with less, so this will work. And we've got nine tricks and a pretty good score, I would think. 100%! Okay, so what was actually happening here? So some people are only making eight tricks when they open one club. Um, some people pass. Some people open a diamond. So what happens when you open a diamond and possibly raise? Get a heart lead. Club over. Club back. And heart, heart, giving them their heart trick too early. Um, if they, like, for some reason, the club defend, the club opening got them to defend this really poorly. I was more hoping that with the club opening that I'd just be able to buy it cheaper and it would be tougher for them to compete. Um, because maybe I'd hit their fit like I did here. Also not afraid of them actually leading, I like my partner leading clubs. If I had two little clubs and queen third diamond, I'd still open a diamond here. Um, and it's something... If I was in first seat, I would open a diamond because I don't know what my partner can do. But in third seat, I thought I'd give myself a bit of leeway. Anyway, uh, what happened here? Uh, just a recap of the play. It went heart and a club to the ace. And now that this ace of diamonds was a terrible play by them. And now I can make nine tricks because when they return a diamond, I get to strip the heart. West has to keep up their singleton uh, heart. And I get to play my club, diamond over, and king of clubs uh, pitching a spade and now when I exit a heart West either has to give me a rough and discard or open up spades 
As it was, they'll do much better coming out the Queen of Spades. If I've got the Ace Jack of Spades, leading low doesn't matter. Um, but if my part, if their partner's got the Jack of Spades, if they come out the Queen, I now have to guess whether they've led the Queen from Queen Jack or from Queen Empty. Um, but the robots don't really guess. Well, don't really realise that you can misguess here. But these are really cool sort of suit combination when you're actually end played and it looks like you have to open up a suit where they're missing the queen and the jack if you lead low and it goes small to the jack and ace they've only got one choice but to finesse but if you come out the queen of uh, spades i could either think that they've got queen jack third and win the ace and finesse back or i could win the king and try and finesse the other way but i have to guess that um, so coming out the queen would have been good play here but low spade and it being a best hand tournament, I knew 100%. Uh, not even that, just East is a past hand and I've shown up with 10 points. So I know that I can finesse there safely. Anyway, perfect start. Uh, board number two. Balance 20 count, so I'll just open two no trump. And buy it there. That's not good. Four heart tricks. Uh, a diamond and a spade is six. The club suit is wide open. Uh, so what do we want to do about this? Uh, low heart lead. So first first play, win the jack of hearts, finesse a spade. If it works, I am down one. Second line of play is going to be really special. But uh, let's say that I just win a heart and lead a low spade out of hand. They win... And if they don't switch to club straight away, now I've got legitimate options to try and make this. Um, hmm. Is that reasonable? We've got four hearts, a diamond and a spade. I'm giving up on my legitimate chance that East has king, jack of spades. But I feel like it's going to be tough for the robots to work out what's going on. I should have put the nine of hearts in, actually. Um... And I'll win the king. And this is like... I'm going for an all or nothing play. I'm feeling confident. I got the adrenaline going after I got my uh, 100% board there. So low spade and they hop up with the king. King of clubs. And a heart. Alright, so that worked really well. Uh, so I'll block up the hearts just for now. Cash the ace of spades just to... Um, know for certain what's going on in the spades and cross back to the jack of hearts and finesse so this one should be a pretty good board um, uh, we got seven tricks uh, yeah let's just cash the ace of diamonds I'm happy with uh, that uh, could I have exited a club? No. If I exited a club, then I was in trouble. 50%. Is that all I get for that? Oh. Heart. Ten of spades and you run it. They cash a club and continue a heart. Sure. Whoa. These people were, like, super brave. Like... They had their eight tricks. They'd already like deep finesse the spade into the stiff king. The opponents hadn't cashed all the clubs. They have their eight tricks, and they're like, you know what? I'm gonna lead a low diamond now and really go for it. Try and sink the boot in big time. Anyway, it worked that time. What did someone else do? Surely not everyone's doing that. Ten of spades, running it. King of clubs, heart. Ace of spades. Why is everyone not cashing out and just leading a low diamond? You've got three spades, four hearts, and a diamond, and the club suit is wide open. The opponents have a spade and at least four clubs. Wow. All right, fine. They can have that one. <laughs> I thought maybe I was going to get a better result for that, but uh, 50%. They were taking their legitimate line to start off with. That, uh, I guess... I had some sort of legitimate line, ducking a spade. Clubs being 4-4, four, four, they just get one spade trick. Um, but both work. Uh, they were playing for King Jack of Spades on side. Anyway, 14 highs, balanced hand, so I open a club. 
rebid and no trump, but my partner showed spade fit, so that's support here. Bid two spades showing four card support. Uh, my partner made a game try. Um, I've got clubs and spades. I've got 14 points. My queen of hearts is wasted. My, uh, my shape is terrible. Uh, but I am kind of maximum. Like, this says like 12 to 16 points, but that's pretty conservative. Like 12 to 15, my queen of hearts is bad. What do I actually, what do I need to make game? So East has a whole lot of hearts. Most of the points will be with the East hand. Uh, so West will be completely broke. So I'll be able to play this hand pretty well. Um, if my partner's got say, ace to five spades, singleton heart, and ace queen of clubs, then like ace queen to four clubs, that's a 10 count. Uh, where we have one heart and two diamonds to lose and nothing else. Uh, they should probably be bidding game anyway with that. So I think I'll just take the low road and just bid uh, three spades. Take out double. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, so I get penalized in three spades doubled. So. Here with East bidding two hearts, three hearts, and then making a takeout double, which got passed. Spades are going to be 5-0 on this hand. So uh, the diamond finesse is almost certainly working. My partner has 10 points. I've got 14. So East probably has everything but the ace of spades. Ace, king of hearts. Like, I'm not sure what they can really do. So we get to win that cheaply. And... Low spade, and they show out. Yep, so West has ace, nine, eight, six, four. So we'll play low spade to king. Right. So that was all pretty well known. Um, diamond. Um, struggling to see how they're getting any real tricks here. So... They are entitled to one more, another spade, I guess. So, let's catch another diamond, see if that gets roughed. No? Alright, so East has probably seven hearts. Maybe a 7-3-3. Three, three. Um... Or maybe a 7-4-2. Well, pretty much anything I, I do will make 10 tricks. So I'm trying to work out, is there any way I can make 11 uh, with West having... Um, if West has any fancy shape. So if West has, say, a doubleton heart, five spades, and 3-3 three, three in the minors... What can I do? Well, I think I have to play another diamond to see if this gets roughed. All right. All right. Three diamonds. So if I play a club to the king, trump a heart, club to the king, trump a heart, then ace of clubs. And I want to rough a diamond high. Like, I'm thinking, can I rough one? No. So, unless West has four clubs and East has like eight hearts and three diamonds and two clubs, I don't think I can do it. Like, if all these clubs are good. So, let's play a low club over here. And if I play a heart and rough it, heart, trump a heart. Okay, so West has only seven hearts. If I miscounted something.
I think I've met it, so I'm only making uh, nine tricks at this stage. So that was bad. 60. Wow, East only had six hearts. I can make ten tricks, surely, yeah. So I... Let's try... <laughs> so I threw uh, some percentage away there. I could have done pretty much anything, I think, but roughing the heart was poor. But I was thinking that East could have eight hearts and... Uh, an 832, in which case I could have made 11. Don't think I had any chance to make an 11, 11 tricks. So, where was I? So, spade up, they win, they play another diamond. That works. Oh, wow. So, do I have to not play spades already? Uh, not. Uh, I have to come out with jack of spades. Low spade was bad because. If I want to rough both my hearts, then um, it's fine. So, maybe I should have played the Jack of Spades early. But 68%, uh, fine, I'll take it. I didn't play that one well. I was dreaming of making 11 tricks when maybe I should have just focused more on making 10. I was never really worried about going off on that hand. It was, like, super safe. Uh, one club pass, one heart. Balance 15 count. So I could bid a no trump, could consider making a takeout double. I think both of these are okay. Uh, it's minimum, and I don't have any pips or sources of tricks, so I'll just make a takeout double. Also, the robots aren't likely to uh, be trying to rob you, so I'll just pass here. Two spades. <laughs> what? What? That is like a the weirdest bid from the row. Uh, <laughs> why? Why would you do that? <laughs> All right. Um. Fair enough. Like we we could easily be making two spades here. I've got a club loser, a heart loser, and three spade losers as well as some extra stuff. Let's just pop in the king here. And that won a trick, which is curious. Um, so East wouldn't be under leading the ace of uh, clubs, I wouldn't think. So it looks like West is ducking from ace jack x. Uh, if they had four clubs... Oh, they could have four clubs as well and have ducked. Uh, both are okay. Um, I think... I, I wanted to lead the jack of hearts, but I'm in the wrong hand. I can't play ace of spades, spade. That would be pretty bad. I'm still missing the eight of clubs as well. I could come out of low spade, they win, they have to do something. If West wins it, there's not a lot they can do. They could push a diamond through, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, so let's just come out of low spade, keep control of the spade suit. They're all pretty even, but I want to hide the fact of what's actually going on. So they win, play another club. Uh, so low club. Jack, they catch the ace. Discarded diamond. All right, so West has four clubs and four hearts. They're now tapping me in the long hand. We get another diamond discard. This is going terribly. Um, I do have a heart stopper. If I assume that I can... If spades are 3-3, three, three, then West has four clubs, four hearts, three spades, and a doubleton diamond. East would have four diamonds. I don't think that's particularly likely. I think East probably has four spades. Um, if I go Ace of Spades, Spade, and hope that spades are... So if East has four spades, and two clubs, four hearts, and three diamonds, they've still got a diamond left. Maybe I could come out a low spade here. Keep control still. They win. And another spade. Okay, so East has four spades. They have four hearts, two clubs, and three diamonds. So these diamonds are all good. Okay. 
Okay, they're roughed, and now Queen of Hearts, King. All right, and we go one down. Probably okay. 68%. Still can't get over my partner's bidding, that's just bizarre. A couple of people made that. Um, one by south, where they balance with two spades. Another one by north, where they made just eight tricks. Uh, so club lead, queen, ducked, low diamond, jack of hearts straight away, heart back, diamond over, they roughed a heart, spade to the seven. Okay, so they never let uh, east on to uh, lead another club through, so spade, spade. And now exit of the spade, west wins. And they're cold. So are we actually cold on that this line all the way? Yeah, so we are cold, so maybe I should have played for that. But I think avoiding going two off is very important on this hand. Because uh, then making 110 seemed pretty re likely. Not upset with what I did. Uh, but maybe I should have tried to make it. I, I did kind of want to lead the jack of hearts at trick two, but I was in the wrong hand. I didn't really want to cross in diamonds to lead the jack of hearts. But uh, curious hand there. Anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, 16 high is really good distributional hand. I'll just open a club. Partners doubled for the majors. What's three diamonds? Four plus spades. 18 to 22 total points. What's takeout point? Double forcing to three no trump. Um, I kind of want to double, but I don't want my partner to pass two diamonds doubled. Uh, for me to make slam on this hand, if partner's got like king queen to four hearts and I don't know three little clubs, we're probably making. I don't want to risk them passing out. Uh, I, I don't see why this would show four plus spades. That's really weird. I feel like three diamonds is the best bid, but the robot's description is scaring me off, so let's make a double. Don't pass it. Okay, sweet. My partner's got two hearts. I got five hearts, four clubs, and now I can bid three clubs. Three hearts. Is like five hearts, how good are your hearts? Something like that. Yeah, let's overbid this hand. Uh, right, so we're in uh, five hearts. Slam looks pretty good here. Um, I just want to maintain control. We've gotten to a decent spot. Six clubs seems worse. Six hearts seems really good. So what I want to do is rough this first one and just come out a low heart. Let them take the uh, king of hearts. I'll be able to rough the next one, cross the king of clubs, draw trumps, back to my spades, set up clubs, and we're all good from there. So rough, and just low heart here, letting them have the king. Okay, another heart I win. Uh, club over. As long as East doesn't have four clubs, I'm good. Uh, so trumps are drawn. And we now play a spade over. Ace of clubs. And that is all. 89%. Uh, five hearts plus one. Some people got to clubs making uh, 13. I could... I guess I can make 13 on this hand, but... Being in hearts is already better. We can see that we're beating the people in clubs already. So making the contract is vital. 650 will be whatever in clubs. So just guaranteeing that. And six hearts looks like the best spot to get onto this hand. But the key thing here is I don't want to like cross. Like let's see how this person made 13. Uh, they got a diamond lead. They roughed. They played a club over and led the queen of hearts. Now. If the Queen of Hearts holds, it's a bit awkward as to what you actually do here. 
um, because if I go about setting up clubs, then maybe they can rough and attack diamonds. Um, so I feel like just leaving a low heart's pretty reasonable. Maybe they can't quite do anything, but keeping control, making sure I made five hearts was decent. And we, I got close to bidding the slam, encouraged my partner, how good are your hearts? And they didn't think they were good enough. Anyway, uh, board number six. 10, 16 high, six spades, so I'll just open one spade. One no trump. This looks like a three spade rebid. It's definitely too good for two spades. Four clubs. Cubid. Two to three spades, king of clubs, 10 to 12 total points. I'm not really interested in slam. So let's just sign off. But I guess my partner's like 10 to 12 with three card spade support, or at least two. Whoa. Uh, right. Uh, like forcing no trump putting these sorts of raises through a no trump just seems so wrong to me um so i got no heart losers i got some diamond losers i can try roughing them i could pitch a diamond on a heart nine of hearts looks like east has the king jack of hearts i could try drawing trumps or at least one round of trumps seeing what happens uh if they win and play like ace of spades spade, I only get to rough one diamond and I'm guaranteed diamond loser. Uh, I'll always be able to take a club finesse. So let, let's say that uh, I win and play a spade. They get to win the ace of spades. The best defense is probably returning a spade straight back. So I win and take a roughing finesse and diamonds. Uh, they win a diamond trick. They can't really do much from there. I'll be able to pitch my other diamond on the king of hearts and take a club finesse, see if club uh, hearts come good or if the clubs come good. So I think drawing one round of trumps is okay. Looks like West might have let a short heart as well. So let's lay it. I want them to take the ace of spades. Low club, I'll take the finesse. Ten of hearts. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Maybe I shouldn't have finessed there. Uh, let's rough in. They can only over rough with the jack. So, I'll be able to set up my hearts at this stage. So, queen of spades. All right, we have another spade loser. Uh... So I can play a quick, I can pitch two diamonds, one on the club, one on the heart, and rough the other one. They get a spade at their leisure. So just play club, 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 pitching a diamond, pitching a diamond, rough in, rough, and they demand to wait till, ah, oh, I was going to say till the final trick, but no. 85% for four spades making there. Wow, people are going off. Uh... How were they doing that? So nine of hearts, they win, they roughed a diamond, they played a spade up, got club back and a heart. So when they roughed a diamond already, now North's already out of trumps at this stage. So uh, we don't get to pitch both of our diamonds. So they, get, they, they rush to get those roughs, but there was other ways to deal with them. So... Uh, 85%. This is going pretty well. Rank 1 running at 76%. And two boards to play. 10, 20 points. And a 3, 4, 5, 1 singleton king. Alright, so if I open a diamond, which is probably the normal way, like, there's three different options here. One of them I truly despise, like, seriously despise. Uh, but one option is opening one diamond, one option is opening two no trumps, and the third option is opening two clubs. Now, one diamond, this is the normal way to bid this hand. It will go like a diamond, you get to reverse into hearts, maybe bid your spades and shape out. 
Uh, opening two no trumps, I don't actually mind with the singleton king, but opening two clubs is disgusting because the auction is going to go two clubs past two diamonds. You'll have to bid three diamonds. And now there's no way that you can find these major suit fits, so don't open two clubs on this hand. I think, I think I'll open one diamond, but I think two no trumps would have some upshot. Alright, uh, so let's splinter or something. 19 to 22 total points. Sure. My partner's not interested, so leave it there. Wow. That looks like a hand I'd be interested in. <laughs> like, I've got an ace, I've got a singleton. Um, you've only got four trumps, but... Uh, like, we're, we're not missing a slam, we're off two aces here, but uh, top club... And they switch to a spade. Uh, okay, so maybe we are missing a slam when they uh, duck that with the 10. So West has the ace of spades, but still ducked it there. So if diamonds are 3-2, I'll be able to take a rough... If hearts and diamonds are 3-2, I'll be able to take roughing finesses. So let's just test what's happening in hearts first. All right, so they're 4-1. I can still take the roughing finesse now. So we get to rough, draw one round of trumps, diamond over. And diamond up, and they break, so making 12. 96%. That one's pretty generous, like, the robots ducking that spade is pretty generous because, like, obviously North's got the jack of spades because otherwise I would have put in the king or the queen. So they should have just put up the ace. Uh, and then after that, uh, testing if hearts break. If hearts and diamonds broke, it was really easy. When I was 4-1, I had to take the roughing finesse early just to make sure I got my uh, 12 tricks. And 96%. So... <laughs> Seven no trumps redoubled down. Yeah, that, that's not the best opening I've ever seen. Uh, running in rank one at 79.6. This one's it's gone pretty well. Uh, final board. Uh, 12, 14, 17 points. Balanced hand, my partner opens. Bit of heart, bit of spade, or bit fourth suit forcing. Uh, and I'll bid two no trumps, show some extra points. Okay, so my partner's an unbalanced hand with... Uh, supposedly minimum. They look to have like five diamonds, four spades, stiff club. I don't think we're making six diamonds on that, so... I'll just bid three no trumps. That six diamonds could be on. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know why my partner bid like that. Di like, they never told me they were a weak no trump. Like, they can't show the weak no trump after I bid two clubs because they don't have a club stopper. Two hearts is good, but after two no, I would just raise to three no. Just like minimum, nothing extra. Uh, but here we are. And we got a diamond lead, which looks like we'll be able to get four diamond tricks. Um, see if the queen appears. Okay, so we've got four diamonds, two clubs, two spades. We can build a heart trick. I could try taking a spade finesse. I can try taking a club finesse. I can try leading up to uh, my hearts. Um... Alright, so what's the best way to combo this? So... If I... I could even double finesse clubs, I don't really like that, but... If the Ace of Hearts is on the side, that's probably my best chance of extra tricks, but if... Uh, it's offside, then I can't necessarily take all the uh, finesses. Now, I think taking... Club finesses are better, because West can't do as much damage to me, like, if Ace leads Hearts through, it's not great. 
Um, but West chose something passive. They led diamonds, which probably indicates they've got something in the other suits. So I might try and take a spade finesse first. Okay, that didn't work. And the eight of clubs back. So let's jack of diamonds. Ooh. Diamonds are 5 1. West pitched a heart. I was going to play like diamond, diamond, and lead a heart up. Uh, but I think I might lead a spade over first. And lead a heart up now. Club back. All right, so if clubs break 3-3, three, three, I am okay. Like, I've got 10 tricks, I'll only lose one more. If hearts break 3-3, three, three, I can probably get 10 tricks. But if I go, like, queen of hearts... Oh, wait, there was a heart discard already. So I'll know if hearts are breaking by ducking a heart now. But I get to pitch one thing on a diamond, another thing on a spade. So if the club comes good, that's that's what I want. So are the clubs good? Ah, I was thinking if the queen of clubs dropped. All right. So now I'll play a diamond over. Another heart discard. And diamond pitching a heart. Top spade, and I think hearts might be up. 100%! That one went, went pretty well. Uh, so that was the weekly free instant tournament. Finished on 82%. Uh, yeah, that was, that was a good way to have a birthday, by the way. <laughs> so everything was running really well for me. Just got gift after gift. Um, so I turned 29 today, and everything went really well. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was the weekly free instant tournament number 97. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, everything just come home for me. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.